All right, I'm gonna bring you guys a quick little DIY uh, tip you guys can use on your guns if you want to uh, help uh, enhance your uh, normal, just standard three dot white sights that most handguns have these days. Uh, I did it to this particular gun. This is my FN, my FNP to be exact. It is safety checked. Uh, the main reason I did it on this gun was because the sights were becoming very dull and no matter how much I tried to clean them, the white was just uh, scratched and uh, faded out. So what I ended up doing was this. And I have to say, this is a great enhancement. Uh, all I did was go online, I ordered this. This is the uh, Tester's uh, Ultra Bright Fluorescence and I used the yellow and the orange uh, I think that one, um, yeah, and it came out great. Uh, I will say I had to do my sights twice because the first time I simply put uh, the paint, I, I cleaned out the uh, the standard white. I used a uh, little bit of um, what you call it, uh, paint thinner, cleaned them out. Uh, it took it right out of uh, and you know cleaned out all the oil. Then I put the paint simply in there but I found that it the dull black metal kind of washes out these sites so I cleaned out all the paint again then I used just testers flat white uh put it on the inside very light coat let it dry then several coats of each color over the top of that until the sites actually uh filled up with the paint and it works great it helps in low light you can see the sites much better uh, I will say I probably will do what Iraqi Veteran did. He did a video very similar to this where he, he used uh, epoxy or bedding material. I don't remember which one. And he uh, mixed paint in with that and that's how he filled the sights in. Uh, I probably will end up doing that once these start wearing out or, you know, some cleaning solvent actually gets in there and takes the paint out, etc. And uh, I'll probably do another video after I do that. But for the time being, if you just want to do a quick little upgrade this took probably about a half hour you do want to be very careful with the paint because especially if you have shallow sites which these back ones are quite shallow you uh don't want it running all over the place i used a combination of a really fine uh, paintbrush and a toothpick to fill these uh up and i'm happy with the result so uh Leave a comment if you have any questions about how to do this or uh, anything like that. It's pretty self-explanatory, and if you screw up, you just take some paint thinner or uh, whatever kind of solvent you have, clean the paint off, and do it over. No biggie. You're not going to hurt anything. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.